not be more important for SSG with double the points on the line. Yeah, this this might be SSG's final. If they can beat KCP here, the team who have been their, I'd say their nemesis this season, a team who just, even before they were considered one of the top teams, they were causing problems for SSG. I remember talking to Rattles before one of the earlier grids um, in this split, and he said that KCP had just swept them in a scrim before the start of the grid. That was their one scrim that they played um, right before starting. And yeah, KCP were just causing them problems already. Memory, 1-0. I mean, I don't want to be the guy who's saying, <laughs> you know, all doom and gloom for Space Station Gaming fans, but this is a nightmare draw in the quarterfinal. And this entire matchup could be the difference between them chasing after that top spot and then barely holding on to the spot, you know, towards that top four, towards that top six, that all-important top six that we have in the region, as Arsenal will he answer back. And that is an immediate response. That's one that Space Station Gaming needed to go for. Yeah, this is huge. So, looking at Arsenal to be making those intelligent plays today, so I think Space Station will be relying on him um, to be just trying to surprise Kansas City Pioneers. You know, wrestles in the earlier matches that Space Station were playing, back when they were dominating at the start of the split, he was the mind game man. Um, but Arsenal, you know, not trying to, uh, you know, take anything away from wrestles. That's not really Arsenal's thing. He doesn't try to get to the top of the leaderboard and um, be the carry for his team. He just tries to be as intelligent as possible. And yeah, I really do think that that's what Space Station are going to be relying on today. Well, so far, Turtle proven to be very correct. He highlighted both Memory and Arsenal to be the players to watch out for. Both those players going out massive in the opening minute. It's rapid. Over to beast mode. We've had so many standout performers on the new side and the rookie side of the field, Johnny, throughout this season. Beast mode definitely being one of them. But here comes Memory. The old guard looks to try and double up. Oh. Uh, I think that shot was a bit high, but still forces the save from Rails. Huge demo. Arsenal wants to go for the shot first time, and he does not have the power. Great recovery by memory. And that's one of the advantages of playing the shot as he did. Um, no dodge means he can just immediately rotate back. Um, I mean, you saw he was needed at the back. He had to get the save on the counter attack. Now beast mode of the save on wrestle shot, which is pretty direct down the middle. But again, Space Station coming forward and a very end to end match at the moment, which in, you know, historically this would favor SSG. This is the style that they were favoring when they were dominating um, NA earlier in the split. They weren't one of the, you know, they didn't play that traditional G2 style, just constant offense. They didn't uh, try and uh, do that. The energy I've been doing more, like the energy I've been doing more recently. Um, they were quite happy to defend. And they were quite happy to counter attack, quite happy to go end to end with their opponents and just be more efficient, be smarter, um, be more clinical. Typical, takes his time. But too much of it, beast mode. Might have two players out here, but can't quite find the bump onto Arsenal, who does well to definitely avoid that one. Arsenal playing very well so far. Typically solid in the midfield challenges. One issue that has been found so far on KCP is that third man positioning. They want to play as proactive as possible, but it has got them caught a few times from the long clear. Means that they can't maintain the advantage for as long as they typically want to, as Arsenal infill pass the typical. Oh! And it's off the post. Maybe the third shot coming in, but that is off target. Space Station getting the better of the opportunities, but you've got to turn them in. Yeah, I really like what I'm seeing from Space Station so far. The passing in the final third is extremely effective, and they're positioning pretty aggressively with their second man in every play, really leaving a very limited amount of time for KCP to react to these shots. And, you know, it's just lucky for them that Space Station hit the post on the last play because no one was going to save it. It was, you know, a diving save attempted, um, trying to cover all the goal. But with uh, how well Space Station hit them on that counter, there really wasn't any way that they could block all the shooting angles. Rattles. It's a great play, but Beast Mode a little bit too far forward. It does mean the infield pass can come out again. Space Station Gaming keep going to that well. And the play has been working so far. They are just missing the shot to finish it off. So many times either just too high or directly at the goalkeeper. Now past the typical, wants to go back to Rettles. That was a little bit different, Arsenal. Flip reset is on him, is oh. it? Yes, it was. Just a little bit too much angle. And now Rapid to the other side of the field. He oh, went for a bit of style oh. and it's worked <laughs> out. Well, for a moment there, I thought you'd missed this in the most horrendous fashion because I had this bounced up the wall. Obviously, there's no way to finish it, but luckily for him, it clips that flat part off the back wall, comes right back at him, 
and he's able to put it into the open net second time of asking where was the rotation for space station gaming that was just an open net and after a very good try at the other end i do actually love how he's able to avoid the demo into the midfield to try and make two rapid backs down they want to leave their third man in a 1v2 on the counter attack Backboard unchallenged by Arsenal. They realize that KCP not looking for another goal right now. They just want to hold on to what they've got. And also, the passing plays have been working out. Oh, that was a mistake from Beast Mode. Well, was covered by his teammates. It's right now the East are expecting to see maybe Space Station Gamer go for a little bit more individual brilliance. Here we go. One Nicely more time. Done. Seventh time it feels like, but this one finally works out. Well, like you were saying earlier, the you know passing in the final third has been brilliant by SSG. The faith for Rettles in Arsenal to connect with that pass was uh, clear, clearly there. And he really got very, very close to the opposition goal in order to uh, be there as quickly as possible and to put the shot in before anyone could react. That's a good save actually by Rettles. He just landed on top of memory to stay relevant in a play that he was uh, already semi out of. Good look for Space Station in this first game, but unsurprisingly, KCP looked threatening as well. It does look like we are going to go to overtime unless a buzzer beater can be scored. Rapid, going to take his chances. Goes low on it. Wow. Over the top, here comes Memory. Arsenal will get forward to block. Memory's still around. Typical clears. It can be caught no by way. Arsenal, who wins for the Arsenal! Shot and it's worked! <laughs> Zero seconds! And Arsenal will take the game for Space Station. Wow. It looked like KCP were going to be the ones pressing for that zero-second winner. And then out of nowhere, Space Station get the counter-attack. And Arsenal's shot was far too much for Rapid to catch up with, unfortunately, on this occasion. Uh, couldn't do as his name would suggest, but that's massive. Space Station Gaming, they looked good in that first game. And even though they conceded a couple of goals, well, one early on, which was just a brilliant finish by memory, one later in the game, which was maybe a little bit careless for Space Station to leave open. Um, I like the offense that we're seeing from SSG. Very confident. Uh, they're connecting extremely well with each other in that final third of the field. And should that continue, then KCP will struggle to defend. They've not really been a team who have been a defensive powerhouse this yeah. season. It's been all about the offense for KCP. I feel like we've turned around a lot of times when we've watched uh, Space Station play over the last month or two. And, you know, it's been underwhelming, you know? Maybe they get the results, but it doesn't feel like the performance is there. This time around, definitely feels like the performance is there a lot more. This is more mm. of the Space Station gaming that we are used to seeing. Keynote, obviously, coming out of game number one is those infield passes. Yes, they didn't score off every single one of them, but it is the best quality shot that you can get in this game. And if they can keep getting it for free, KCP can't shut it down, then you are going to keep going back to that world because what are you going to adjust to? There's going to be nothing better for you. Yeah, it's, it's all about the movement off the ball from Space Station Gaming. This second man positioning in every single play made it very easy for them to connect these infield passes. They weren't risky infield passes with lots of distance being covered between the uh, player making the pass and the one receiving the pass. They were getting close enough uh, that they could beat KCP to the punch every time because they've got the advantage. It being the attacking team in all these positions. Oh, what a shot. Typical did not get challenged. His memory, I think, he, did he want to challenge this or did he just decide against it? That's a bit hesitant, maybe, because he had the boost in the position. Surprised that memory didn't just close down the shot there. That's typical. He won't mind. Yeah, memory ends up doing a little bit of NASCAR over on his backboard, just trying to figure out which way he wanted to go. <laughs> Typical stepping up with some shooting. Typically the flair player, but when he can hit the fundamentals as well as he is right now, that's when he's at his most dangerous. Yeah, you have to think that typical, you know, it, when he gets such high praise, not just from the fans online, not just from all of the casters and the analysts of the Rocket League team, when he gets the, the kind of praise that he does get from the other Rocket League pros in North America. Everybody rates this guy so, so highly. Uh, you know that there, there's more to him than even I think we've seen before. Um, you know, you, you always hear about these players who in the practice, who in scrims, are just absolutely destroying the opposition single-handedly. And, you know, typical, I think he's got to be one of those guys if, uh, if all of the uh, pro players in the scene are bigging him up as much as they are. Yeah, we talked yesterday about how... Oh, wait a second. Memory of a chance. Oh! 
just jumps, hopes that he gets a save. Talking yesterday about how BDS are such an incredible online team. Sipical has always just been that incredible online player. Almost every single season, Space Station Gaming do so well during the online phases. It's going to be dropping down rapid, not going to have a chance to turn. Has all been Space Station so far, despite one good opportunity. However, in the last minute, it's been turned around. A fake attempt from memory. And now Beast Mode all by himself. Uh, well, maybe not anymore because that car has thoroughly been removed from the field. Yeah, it was a bit of an awkward one. The ball was, it didn't sit too pretty for Rettel, so he wanted to dribble that play. He knew that if he got in front of it, um, he could be first on it. But maybe just running ahead of the ball, making a demo play on the goalkeeper and letting Arsenal come in was a better idea because he did have Arsenal right behind him. Um, and by getting immediately in front, it didn't give too many options for Arsenal to support. Half the game gone now. Space Station Gaming on the verge of match point. Might be about to leave them though as Beast Mode oh. tried to run for it. He had the option between full power and trying to just place it on the far side. It didn't work. Yeah, I think from that range he could have had both, but why, why not? Uh, just hit it as hard as possible on target because that was a totally free shot, uncontested, and there was no chance for Space Station to challenge it other than a pre-jump. So. Very surprised to see Beast Mode holding back on that one. And, you know, when you're going for accuracy and you miss the target, that really says a lot about your confidence. Beast Mode, um, he's been in discussion for Rookie of the Split so far, not because of shots like that one. No, this has definitely been the phase of the tournament that has caught the rookies out the most. How can they perform when we get to the playoffs? And all eyes are on you. And this is maybe even the biggest stage that you've ever performed at. Arsenal back pass. Very wow. risky. Very successful. And very worthwhile as they've got the ball to the other side of the field. Booming clear. It's a rapid. Can't do anything with it. Memory dives on in. Sort of shows just how desperate, though, that KCP are just to get a play going. Still scoreless for them here in game number two. Arsenal can't get the challenge he needs, but he won't be too bothered by that right now. Yeah, what a back pass by Arsenal. Or just a very small touch on the ball, but anything more might have been harder for his team to react to. So a perfectly hit play, um, removing the threat from a very dangerous position as Space Station can go to up here with how KCP have you know, adapted uh, to that game one loss and now into game number two. I would not be surprised to see Space Station taking this 3-0. So, uh, KCP are just looks confused. They mm. probably expected a bit more success in the early stages of this series. Beast mode. Oh, it's just not happening for him mechanically. Almost landed in front of his own team. Maybe a huge bump. Memory shot. Oh, the crossbar. A huge chance to break away. And it will be taken all in by KCP. And they get nothing for it. Well, you can't really blame them for going all in. That was one of the last chances they were going to get in this game. So fair play to send the house at Space Station Gaming. Um, but Space Station Gaming's team house, meanwhile, looking pretty good at the moment. Um, you know, Gibbs is going to have to put away the matches because <laughs> this performance is a lot better than what we've become used to seeing from SSG in recent times, especially against the Kansas City Pioneers, who I think are feeling the pressure of this major. Um, a lot more than the SSG boys, who have built up a lot of experience in the recent seasons. Putting it to good use here. Absolutely so. So Space Station Gaming, one more game away from taking this series and putting all the pressure onto Team Envy and NRG, who are going to be playing later on today. If they can get this, they are going to be 50 points behind NRG and 100 points behind Team Envy. And in this sort of uh, bracket, Johnny, where you are getting an extra 100 points for every single match you win, an extra 200 for the Grand Finals, this is, could be huge for them. They can really turn the tables on how their season has gone. As for KCP, offense just isn't clicking. And this isn't new to them uh, mm. when it comes to their matches against SSG. I had a chance to look last time. Barely ever when they are against Space Station Gaming, do they actually score, you know, two goals or more. It's typically been like a one goal game for them. And it's been up to them to try and keep SSG without scoring at all. This time around, they just can't do it. True. Yeah, the, the KCP um, lineup, they've been getting, you know, clutch wins against Space Station Gaming, not necessarily dominating wins. Uh, but what worries me is that some of the chances they had 
in game two were ripe for the taking. Completely uncontested mm. shots from, you know, just a few yards away from the goal line. And they're being hit slowly wide of the target. The accuracy has been a let down. The power has been a let down. And that tells you all you need to know about KCP's confidence currently. Uh, well, you know, it, it, it's a tough one to come back from. That game one must have been huge, um, not just for SSG, but also for KCP in the other way. You know, they just lost a zero second goal after being in the offense um, immediately before it. So hard to immediately, it's hard to forget that one and just move on to game two. Certainly is. It might be hard to forget this one, though. If you are oh. Space Station, they've not got it even on target. Arsenal's able to cover it anyway. For KCP, what is it going to take? Yeah, once again, the accuracy is a letdown. And unless they can sharpen up extremely soon, it's very, very hard to come back against a Space Station gaming team who are playing this uh, well, who are playing this confidently, this effectively. It's more like what we were hoping for all, uh, when we get SSG on the field. Wanted to see what they were producing earlier in the season, and there it is. Perfect pass. Arsenal typical. The OG Joe back at it again. And they've just been leveling up as the series goes along, from regular infield passes to a thing of beauty like that one. Typical on the board, but what a setup it was. And SSG reminding us just how deadly they are when they are on form. You're talking about how well this series has been going for them so far as we get one over the cross. And Beast Mode, fantastic angled shot from him. At least he gets the goals going. Yeah, Rettles overhits his first touch while he attempted to set up a ceiling clear ball there. Um, but because he's hit the ball so hard, he knew he had to catch up with it quickly. Um, and being as close to the curve of the wall where it meets the ceiling as he was, he just had to double jump and hope that he makes some kind of contact on it. Misses, um, and that just gives KCP the immediate shot in the position. So not the best play at Rettles. Heavy first touch, really um, put Space Station in a rough spot. And KCP with a much, much needed goal. Plenty of time now to really figure out where they can get that second one. Must win this, otherwise they will be eliminated in the quarterfinals. Still fantastic points for them, but this is a huge chance for them to start moving much further up the leaderboard. Sipical just taking his time, doing whatever he wants to do, and the confidence Sipical is a dangerous Sipical. Memory with his own version of it. Flexible pass one, Arsenal with a follow-up. Rettles, he's gone full demo mode all of a sudden. That is his third time. He's going so far out of his way to take out a goalkeeper. Oh, wow. Here comes Arsenal, doesn't get the block. Yeah, he's not the only one. Typical sticking around in the final third to play off the ball, aggro on the goalkeepers. They're all doing it on these recoveries. First thing a Space Station do is play for the cars. Ignore the ball, just go straight for the opponents. And memories missed the ceiling clear. That's becoming a trend in this game for both teams. And, it, you know, it is a, a tricky thing to execute to perfection. If you hit the ball too softly in this setup, you can get dunked on um, before the ball gets up there. And if you hit it too hard, the ball will bounce off the ceiling and get away from you. So, uh, it, you know, it, it's been tricky under this much pressure for these teams to play the ball away uh, from the incoming interceptions. Beast mode. It looked good to try and read where the ball was going next. I don't think the first touch was quite what he was after. Typical. He has got the infield pass. Might go the whole way by himself. Oh my what a goodness. Setup, but it ricochets off the crossbar. Might have even left a dent in it. It was hit that hard. <laughs> Memory will just take his time and he's just trying to hurry him up a little bit here, you know? <laughs> we, wanna, we wanna get this going here. Yeah, yeah they had a moment, momentary 3v2. Where every time they get a demo, they want to attack and they want to try and exploit the additional space that they've created for themselves. But Boost wasn't there to make it happen. And now Beast Mode. Removed from the defense, that leaves Rapid all alone, and he doesn't have much boost in the position. The Space Station didn't know that, so they step back safely. And with the tie game position, I think Space Station is probably happy to just wait for a golden opportunity. Their movement off the ball continues to be a real problem for KCP to read. Midfield boost steal from Rattles. It did look for a little while like KCP was starting to struggle on the boost side. Sipical's touch, as far as Memory, who tries to pass it off to Rapid. He backs down, realizes he's going to be second best to Arsenal, who's removed from the field. A lot of individual play now suddenly starting to become the main difference. Oh it's my. Beast Mode, he's out of position, oh. and he's put the ball in his own net. 
Well, there's no way that he expected Rettles to get that touch on the ball. What a hit. He went, actually, Beast Mode was going to try and aerial that ball. He jumped up in the air and then realized, wait a minute, Rettles has absolutely smacked that at the end of his flip. It's kind of sort of a pre-flip shot with almost no boost from Rettles. Really difficult for Beast Mode to read. And, uh, you know, he couldn't get back in position either. Nice reset by Rapid, but a save by Sipical. Space Station just need to hold on for 40 seconds. It's time to throw everything now. Here comes Rapid, chance to tie it up. And Arsenal is always exactly where he needs to be. Where is the passing option? Beast Mode looks for the backboard, already covered. Typical this time around. Space Station Gaming looking to hold on to this one goal lead. Take it all the way through to the semi-finals. Yeah, Can't they, quite they, get it past anymore, but they won't be too bothered by that. Yeah, there is KCP are going to be bothered though. This is easily the worst performance they've had against SSG. They've still got one more chance though. Rapid and Memory are in the area, but they can't get the ball up into the air. Space Station Gaming with the sweep. I don't believe it, Shogun. You know, the only thing I can think of is that for once, KCP might have considered themselves the favorites in the matchup, even when they were farming Space Station. Space Station were still one of the top teams in the region. KCP were on the come up, but now after that regional three success, they might even have considered themselves the favorites here. And did it play to their advantage? Absolutely not. That's additional pressure. Space Station Gaming, um, much, much better from them. This will give a lot of hope to the SSG fans, not just in uh, you know a, a semi-finals uh, run for them today, but maybe even the whole way. Yeah, absolutely so. I mean, we came into this, we were talking so much, you know, pressure's on SSG, pressure's on SSG. No one told that to Space Station. Instead, it looked like <laughs> all of it was on their opponents. This is not a huge chance for them because it is looking very likely like we are going to get NRG versus Envy. So one of those is going to have to take each other out. Whilst on the bottom side of the bracket, it, you say SSG would have to be the favorites to oh, make yeah. it through oh, yeah. to the grand finals, but their opponents would like to say no to that. So whilst G2 and Rogue rev up, rev up their engines, we're going to go to a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to hear the reaction from the desk and get ourselves into our second quarter final. <laughs> 